are grateful to him for being very brief. The subject is very provocative and there can be so many comments, but because of the constraints of time, I impose that myself. Though I happen to be the professor of law in Guru Gobind Singh Indra Prasthi University, I now request another professor. We are having Secretary General, International Institute of Islamic Thought. He is Professor Omar Hassan Ghasoli Saab. He will come and give us words of appreciation. Let me know that he will be also chairing a session during this conference. Professor Omar Hassan Ghasoli Saab. Justices, Justice Yagdir and Justice A.M. Ahmadi, Dr. Manzoor, Professor Zayim Khan, Mr. Kirahman, and together with him in many conferences that I come to, uh, to in India, uh, Mrs. Ayub, and all dignitaries and all protocol observed. Uh, peace be upon you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I would like to appreciate IOS for bringing us together here to discuss a topic that's very important for India and for all societies in the world. And by the way, when we talk about justice, equality, fraternity in India, this is something international because people of Indian origin are found everywhere, in America, in Africa, in the Middle East. So, we are not talking only about India, we are talking about something quite international. And I'm very happy that we have got people here from many countries. We have from Qatar, uh, from Sri Lanka, we've got uh, people from uh, other countries uh, of the world. So, it's a very important international subject. I just want to say a few things. The first one is that Islam emphasizes the equal worth of all human beings because we are all created from man and woman. We are all created from a man and a woman. We have all differences, tribes and nations, but the purpose of this is to make us know one another. Inna akramakum inda uh, being superior is based on moral considerations. But otherwise, all of us in front of God, in front of the law, we have got this equal worth as human beings. The Quran actually goes even further than this. Uh, it says, Man nafs, If you kill one person, If you kill only one person, destroy one life, it's like you have destroyed lives of all humanity from the beginning to the end. So one life is worth the lives of all other humans. So it's very important that we understand the equal worth of all humans. But there are problems that uh, we face because we are not the same. There are biological differences. Eh? Some people are very tall, some are short. Me, I think I'm tall. But my late father could stand and look on my head, very tall. Some are white, some are black, some are yellow. So there are biological differences, there are gender differences. But these differences were made by God huh? for purposes. We can go into the philosophy of the biological differences. It's not the time for that today. They were made by God. But these differences should not be used. Huh? to violate the equal worth of all human beings. Also, there are differences that a man made. We create them. Someone can be lazy, hardworking, motivated, as the justice say. Uh, some people uh, could work very hard. Their own mistakes, they are addicted to drugs, and they suffer. So, there are differences that are made by God, differences that are made by humans, but still, these ones do not violate 
you coerce for all human beings. But we have to deal with the differences, and as two speakers talked about it, uh, we have affirmative action programs to make sure that those who the lottery of life has put at the bottom, we try to bring them up. Because remember, no society can be stable and peaceful if some are above and some are below. It's a matter of time before there is disturbance. So as a society, we need affirmative action programs to bring up those who are left behind. But then, once we bring them up to the flat earth, eh, we need to give equal opportunities uh, to all. I would like to stop here. Uh, we'll have two more days to discuss. I'll share more of my uh, ideas. Once again, I thank IOS for uh, organizing this very uh, important gathering. And I think it's going to have a lot of uh, uh, good outcomes. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.